let's talk about OpenGL's client server model. And when I say client server, I put those in quotes. OpenGL's been around a long time, and from what I understand, when you would write OpenGL functions and say, hey, do this, do that, do something else, all these would be sent to some external server, a physical server that would perform these operations, and then we would get the results back. However, now our computers, our personal computers, are powerful enough that our laptops or our desktops serve as the client and the server. However, OpenGL still maintains this client-server interface, and I want to compare that against what we're used to. I've opened Notepad here, and in here I'm going to write the code that I would like to write. However, it's not the code I can write because OpenGL's interface is different. But I want to show you that OpenGL's interface is very much the same as what we're used to when dealing with objects. If I had my choice, I would say shader, my shader, gets new shader, gl vertex shader off the screen here, shader, like so. Let me see if I can bring that in just a little bit. Ah, you get the idea. Let me... Let me uh, reduce that, and I'll bring this in. But I'd like to be able to say, oh, this needs to be a pointer, too. I'd like to say, a, hey, shader, create me a new shader, and it's going to be a vertex shader. That's the same as saying, hey, GL, create shader. Right? It still creates a quote, unquote, shader object. Here, Here is our vertex shader object. However, this object is quote unquote server side, meaning OpenGL is just managing for it for us. We don't we don't get a shader object directly back, or at least a pointer to one. Instead, what we get is this handle. Right? Well, the handle is just like a pointer. Right? Yeah, if if you look in the debugger, the handles will be zero, one, two, three, four. They're not actual memory addresses, but they're logical addresses. Whenever I want to do something with this vertex shader object that OpenGL is managing for us, all I have to do is pass back this quote unquote pointer or this handle. All right, so yeah, we're used to this, but instead we got this with OpenGL. Don't let it throw you off too much. Let's do the next step here. I'd like to say my shader, my shader, set source. We can say set shader source. How about that? Set shader source to vertex shader code. Well, that sets a property on our, our shader object. Okay, it's, hopefully this is nothing new. We're saying, hey, my object sets some property on you. Well, that's the same as saying, hey, shader source on this object. Notice I said this here, T H I S. That's a keyword in C++. It's this object. <laughs> quote unquote, set the shader source to uh, the the code found in adapter, which is our vertex shader code. Hopefully, I'm not beating this up too much. So my shader is the object that I'm setting the source on, and then vertex shader code uh, indirectly goes through this adapter, but I just pass it in there as well. If you go look up my video on all methods are static, I talk about how there's no such thing as an instance method, which is true. This is much like Python, where we have to pass in self or pass in the the object itself, and then and then we pass in any further arguments after that. So even though we're used to this, or maybe maybe you're used to this, but I think most of you watching the video are will be used to this object-oriented. Uh, syntax. Well, it's the same as in OpenGL. Instantiate, set the shader source. Now, guess what my next line of code is going to be? I'll say my shader. Compile. All right. Well, <laughs> what do we have right here? GL compile shader, and compile takes no arguments. Here, however, we have to pass in this object. Right, the handle back to the object that OpenGL is maintaining in quote unquote OpenGL server land. All right, and then and then taking this further, I'd like to say, hey, program, uh, my program gets new program. Well, how do we do that with OpenGL? We say, OpenGL, create a program for us. All right, and back we get this program ID, which which is analogous to this pointer here. This pointer is just a memory address. This ID is a logical memory address, a logical address of, it's, it's an ID, it's an object ID. It's the exact same thing. Okay, my program, let's, let's go a little bit further. My program, uh, attach 
shader. Uh, my shader. Like so I guess this is my vertex shader. But same idea here. We're saying attach shader. My program will be the first argument here. Then my shader will be the second argument here. The ID to the shader. Or the pointer to the shader in this case. The pointer or logical ID here. And then I want to link the program. So going back over here. My program link and my program use. All right, same same idea here. Link takes no arguments, but we need to know what program we're linking on. So we'll say GL link program. We'll pass the program ID right here. And then when I say use, well, use takes no arguments, but there is this implicit this argument that I'll pass in right here. GL use this program. So when you do OpenGL programming, yes, the syntax is a little different than most of you will be used to, but if you think of it like this, no big deal. You're probably thinking to yourself, oh, 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 I could write classes that I could program like this, yet underneath the hood they'll they'll do this. Well, yeah, that's true, and, and, and there's several people that have done that, and if you look at the latest and greatest Qt libraries, they've done that as well. You can just download theirs and use them, but anyway, there you go. Don't let the... The interface to OpenGL throw you off from your object-oriented programming. It's all still the same.